Okay. Hi guys, so I picked up the Model X yesterday. Um, it was too dark when I picked it up to do any actual filming in it, so I've come out this morning um, and I'm just going to drive around some kind of country roads, a bit of a dual carriageway and maybe some town roads and see how uh, the car handles it. At the moment it won't let me um, enable auto steer, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll come back when it will. Okay, so we're coming up to a road that has road markings in a second, so we'll see if it'll allow me to enable auto steer. Uh, when we get onto this road, there's these kind of um, archways, well you see them in a minute, but there's these really narrow archways in the road. Um, and I just want to see what the car does, I'm guessing it'll kind of panic and come to a stop, but we'll see. this is a new one because it stopped at a giveaway sign which I didn't know it did. So that's interesting. It says stopping for traffic control. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we've got auto steer on. Let's see how it does. Maybe it would have done that, but it was kind of it's going at 60 towards a massive thing, so no. You can see the first one of these things ahead, so we'll see, we'll, we'll engage and we'll just go slowly towards it and see what happens. Maybe a bit faster. Same much too close to this side because uh, the, the grass verge is quite high. And the thing with this thing is you need to slow down before you go through it. Yeah, it disengaged. Or was that me? Who knows? I probably panicked. But there's another one at the bottom, so we can try that one. Engage. No. 
pit, it doesn't want to engage at the moment, but we'll try when it will. But as you can see, these streets are just so narrow and there's cars parked all over the street and there's these massive lorries that drive around because there's kind of like farms everywhere. So it's actually a challenge for like a human to drive around here, let alone a car. I didn't like that car that was parked there. Okay, so we're coming up to a kind of, I think it's a dual carriageway. No, the dual carriageway, carriageway has just ended, but it's a, like a main road, so it should have no problem on that bit. So we'll give it a go on that bit and then we'll, um, see if we can find some more kind of challenging roads for it. In fact, we will go right, actually, and there is a tiny stretch of dual carriageway, and then we'll come off and go on some more rural roads. Okay, so we're entering here and it's going to the left, which is good. We actually need to come off quite soon, so you're not going to see much of this um, dual carriageway driving, but it, it, it does it fine anyway, so it's not very exciting. I think this is our turn here. One thing I wonder is, I wonder what it does for railway crossings, will it stop? Because it kind of should stop, if it stops for giveaway signs and green traffic lights, you'd think it would stop for... Oh, well, this doesn't have any signs anyway, this one, but the, the bigger ones usually have signs, so we'll try it out on a big railway crossing when we can. some horses. <laughs> these, these are the kind of things that you have to contend with down here so uh, yeah I don't think this is going to be full self-drive around these kind of roads anytime soon. Look at this hills have eyes guy. Okay, so I think we're getting up to a bit of road now where it will um, allow self-driving. I'm just going to see if it'll stop for the giveaway again. So it's not the giveaway, is it? It just it kind of knows that there's a junction there, or it can see the maybe it sees the lines on the floor. I don't know. But there was no. Was there a sign? I don't know. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm fairly sure there's road markings in a second. Okay, there are. Um, okay, we're back on. Let's see how it goes. This, I'm gonna drop the speed down a lot. These roads aren't um, really suitable for doing kind of 60, or especially if the car is steering itself. Okay, did that fine. speed limit change coming up and it sees the sides and it's dropped down to 240 so that's good and then there's a really steep hill now where usually you'd start braking because of the 30 speed limit coming up but let's see what the car does uh, no it kind of stuck at 40 but it didn't feel too fast and now we're coming into a um, some kind of town driving so let's see how far we get until there's a car parked in the middle of the road and we have to abort Accelerator down no, no, it gave up. <laughs> it does not like parked cars, does it? Okay, it says stopping for traffic control in 400 feet. So, yeah, it's clearly just um, doing that based on maps. So, yeah, sorry, it doesn't, there is no traffic control there. Oh, 
Maybe it meant that sign there. Now we need to go down here. I'll come back to that bit again one day because it seemed to do something about the the railway sign, but I think it might have been off the the, the maps rather than um, seeing anything because it kind of knew about it before we even turned the corner. Okay, here we go, and it's going to abort in a second because of the lorry parked in the middle of the road now. Okay, so I'll take over. Back on. See how it does. Now there's a car poking out. Let's see what it does here. I'll just take over because I'm a wimp. Okay, slowing down, there's a roundabout here which it doesn't seem to see. It kind of did it fine, but I think it just thought it was just a continuation of the road. So that'd be interesting to check when there's um, a car coming. And it's going to stop behind this car again. And I'm thinking, why have you stopped there? And it's not going to go. Okay. Sorry, car behind. And that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got any more suggestions for videos that you'd like to see in the Model X. Uh, and I'd be happy to kind of try out your ideas as long as they don't kill me. Uh, be sure to kind of like and subscribe because it really helps me um, get motivation to put more videos on. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time.